Good afternoon. It's Holly Miller up at Jerome. Good afternoon, it's Holly Miller with Country Road Crafts, and today what I'm going to do is just some decoupage basic projects, but I want to first, I'm sorry, first I want to double check and make sure you guys are getting my emails, I sent one out kind of late today, it was kind of a funk, thank you, it was a funky message I got, hey Melinda from Missouri, um, I just want to make sure you got the met you got my email uh because like I said it was acting weird and it looked like it went if you didn't get it or you're not signed up let me know and we'll get you signed up but um I have my newsletter in there and I also have a blog so it's kind of cool uh the blog is just a little step by step how to do upcycle decor so I have like 12 weeks and I think we're on week three so just let you know that I'm gonna flip around the um view so you guys can see what I'm doing. Give me one second and I will take care of that. There we go. Okay, so turn this around. I think you guys can let me let me adjust this real quick guys. Well let's go out. There we go. How about that? Okay, I still good. So hope you guys are doing good today. Um, what I'm going to do today is I am going to put some decoupage on this and then I'm going to put one on top with a big piece of decoupage with colors underneath it like I've been doing. So, I did not grab my, oh, I knew I did that. Hey Frank, hey. in my box there's my decoupage, uh, bottles because I left the uh, medium in the box. If you can grab those for me, I appreciate it. <laughs> I left them in my box. Where is it? In my box that I took up the road uh, to A2C. Yep. My decoupage mediums in the uh, squirt bottle things. Yeah. Because I forgot it. Yep. That would be it. Thank you. Okay. There. My lovely assistant, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do without him. Oh, gosh. And the dog starts to bark. Okay, so I picked these up at um, Dollar Tree. So, and I'm just going to put uh, decoupage on the top of them just. I want to do patchwork, just mismatch, just put it on here because uh, I just want something underneath it. And I don't, I'm not going to put um, paint underneath the top one here. Actually, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to take these off. I can put them back in when I'm done. Hope you guys are doing okay. It was cold and it's hot and it's cold. Christina, how are you? I haven't seen you in a really long time. I was trying to see how they, um, the thread uh, came out. I think that you're the Christine here. I'm glad to see you guys with me today. And I didn't put enough medium down because it's not even sticky. So what I'm doing today is I'm just going to put um, patchwork down. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to layer some stuff. So. Okay. 
I guess a whole lot on here. Because this is dry. I've had this for a year and I think the wood's just super dry. So, um, like I was saying earlier, if you guys, if you guys are on my mailing list, just if you guys could just let me know you're getting the things because I'm not sure if it went out. It's kind of funky. It's crazy. And if you want to be on the mailing list, there's a link in the description for my VIP list. So. I'm gonna spritz a little water up. I don't think I'm doing it. There we go. There we go. And I'm just gonna do a little patchwork. Let's see what I got. And orange. Oh, some butterflies. How about that? Butterflies would be good. Here, I'm gonna fold that over, and I think I'm gonna try to cut. Okay, hopefully, you guys are doing good. I have been wanting to do some Valentine's craft crafts. Um, so I didn't have any, so I had to go back and see what I had left over from last year. How about that? So, and if you haven't um, been, if you're new to our site, just let us know where you're from. We would like, we would love to hear from you guys. And if you try decoupage before it's your first time, um, Belfast, cool. Glad you're here. And sometimes I'm going to warn you, I forget to look up and talk. <laughs> I'm trying to remember to do that. Last week I did half the craft, and somebody's like, "Is yours? Is yours now not working?" Oh, it's working. I just forgot. Just working away. So let's see. It's been chilly and cold here, and today we had potato soup, and it's sixty some degrees. You can believe that. That's hot. I was like, well, weather's a little confused. At least it's not freezing today. Oh, yeah, I do that too. But today I didn't want to do that with this piece. The next piece I'm doing in a, in a minute, I'm going to put down a, um, I, I, yeah, you're correct. But I just didn't do that because I didn't think about it until after the back and too late now. But yes, you are correct. If I was to put a, um, a face coat, it wouldn't fit with the decoupage that. With the medium that fast, and what I'm using is Fusion Tough Coat Matte because I don't like the shiny. So, yeah. I just forget to do the. I just my brain it doesn't work that way sometimes. Oh my goodness, six degrees, fur. That's cold. No, thank you. No, thank you. Sorry. 
it was like 40 here and I was freezing. Freezing, freezing. And I'm just gonna lay on the edge here. I know, seriously. Freezing cold. I won't know what to do if it gets that cold here. I don't know how to act. Don't get me wrong, I've been in cold weather before. But, uh, it's been a really long time. We've lived in North Carolina for 20, 27 years now. Almost 28. But here at the coast, you know, I can't even tell you when the last time it actually snowed here. So, yeah. Christine, if I was to plan ahead, I would probably not forget about 50 of the steps. But, you know, my brain just don't work that way. I've been trying to do better. I have to take notes and everything and, you know. My hands are sticky. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I am talking, I promise. Okay. You guys can't see that I'm doing with this. Sorry. Just in the thing so you guys can see it, right? Okay. You guys are quiet today. You guys working on some crafts or, you know, the Valentine stuff? Or are you working on organizing stuff? I've been working on a little bit of both. Just how things happen. I can't believe February is like next week. Can you guys believe that? I can't believe that. All right. Okay, so I'm going to let's see, I'll this one. Hey, Phyllis. Yeah, no, I'm not off to a fast start. <laughs> My hands are already sticking to the um the paper. <laughs> but I usually start, Phyllis, I started at 6 o'clock, so um, on Tuesdays. So, yeah. How's the weather back home? I've seen your pictures from 
going to work yesterday. It looks terrible. The roads are covered. Oh, thank you. It's this uh, tissue is called um, mass, uh, butterfly master board. Yeah. It's probably one of my, not the favorite, I have a few favorites, but it's probably one of my favorites. There we go. Oh, yeah, mud, yeah. It was cool down here, like, below 30 for, like, two days, and now today it's, like, it was, like, 60-something today. It, it didn't snow. It rained a little bit last week but before it got cool, and then it's supposed to be, like, 70s tomorrow, and then it's supposed to get cold again, so my sinuses are starting to get me green. I don't know about you guys, but when the weather changes like that, my sinuses. And I was starting to debate if it's hormonal issues or if it's the weather. I've, I've debated it's the weather. I'm pretty sure it's the weather. <laughs> Don't be jealous, Phyllis. You can never tell what the weather's going to do down here. It's confusing. I take my jacket to work in the morning and then I'm in layers and I'm in a t-shirt by the end of the day. It's ridiculous. Using. Phyllis, we need to get together and uh, with some of your friends online and and do a, a craft make and take online. I can do that. I've seen some of you guys like to do crafts like that. So we can put together a package and then I can send it to you and then we can walk through it online from here, live. Like in a private group. Um, the, This here, um, this is just Fusion Tough Coat. Um, it's just a, a medium. I didn't put anything on it. I got these this year from uh, Dollar Tree last year. That's why it's like sucking up all my medium. Hi, Sandra. How are you doing from Virginia Beach? You guys probably have similar weather than we got down here. Oh, six inches of snow last week at Arctic Crawl on the ground. On the ground? Ooh. I, like I said, I can't even tell you when the last time we had snow here in North Carolina. I'm at the beach. So I'm at Topsail Beach, if you guys don't know. And uh, it doesn't snow a lot here. It rarely frosts. I think it frosts a little bit last week. A couple of times I had to scratch. Well, let me change that. There was a couple of times I probably should have scraped my windows, but I just turned the air on and let it run for 10 minutes and then it defrosted. So I was good. But, yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't really snow here. No snow, just cold. Yeah, that's what it's been. Now, today, like I said, it was up in the 60s today. It's 56 and cloudy right now. And it's supposed to be like 70 tomorrow. But I think it's supposed to rain most of the day. Oh, I just ripped my paper. It's supposed to be um, 70, but it's either supposed to rain all day tomorrow or all day Thursday. I can't remember which day it's going to rain. But it's going to rain one day, that's late, because that's just the winter time here at the beach. It doesn't snow. It doesn't get that cold, but it does rain. like crazy. Any kind of flurry events, it gets snow event for us. And that's just, it thinks it's going to flurry. Not that it's actually going to flurry. It's a little confusing down here. We just don't have the um, infrastructure to take care of snow. Um, there's a couple of salt trucks and not a whole lot. So it's a definitely an event when it happens down here. When I first got down here, the idea of a snow truck 
or a snow plow, I'm sorry, or salt truck, was guys in the back of the truck uh, shoveling out cinders on the on the <laughs> the intersections. It's kind of weird. Definitely a little confused at first when we first got down here. This thing is giving me great gas. I hope you guys are doing okay, Phyllis. I've seen your post uh, about the family the other day. And let Mickey know we're thinking about him. And if there's anything you guys need, just let us know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for spring. I'm ready to start. I'm up. Yeah. Yeah, we were in for like a day. Um, like a day after Christmas to pick up a flower from uh, Frank's neighbor from when he was little. Uh, and then we, we, we ran like a day. And I just couldn't get to see everybody in one day. But I will... I need to make it a, a point to get back there more often. It's just really hard, you know. But those mountains call my name all the time. All the time. Yeah, I, I we were only we barely get to see a couple folks. I mean, I didn't even get to see my sister because we were. Um, just in for one day. We were in the 28th and 29th, and we came home the 30th. We came in the 29th and left on the, no, came in on the 8th, 28th and left on the 30th. So we were only there technically one day to get this flower. And it's doing wonderful down here. It's, it's loving this weather. I slumped it up. I'm not loving the weather. I'll have to show you guys a picture of this thing flower. It's huge. Um, this lady has had it from Frank's mom's funeral from when he was, what, 76? She's had this flower? Since 76, it's like a, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's just a, uh, the indoor water, uh, I'm sorry, indoor plant. It's just no flowers, just one of those green, I know what it's called. I'll, I'll have to look it up and let you guys know. Take a big picture of it, but it's huge and it's grown since we've got it. It's grown. It's all you know, loving the weather and where Frank has it. Yeah. Hello, Kelly. How are you, fellow squirrel? Oh, my hands are sticking to this. I am not getting through this project very good, am I? Okay. All right, that covers most of it. And I am doing this upside down because the camera is weird angle, so so you guys can see it right side up. <laughs> I am good. Enjoy the peace and quiet, Kelly. I am doing good. Although this peace is giving me grief, I'm just saying. I 
How's the weather down in something or South Carolina? Yay! Wonderful news. That those things when my fire alarm batteries go dead, oh my goodness, that chirping drives me batty. And then I in turn drive Frank batty trying to fix it or find it. <laughs> Yay! So now you have to replenish your stock because it as soon as you don't have any is when another one will go out. Yep. Okay, this up here, I am just gonna patch it in, right? Okay, good news, good news. I had to hear it. Gosh, you guys, it's the first time in a long time everybody's talking to me. I appreciate it. I've missed you guys. Um, this is another uh I think this is a dragonfly something. I can't remember the name of that one. I'll have to look it up. But I have a bunch of scrap pieces. But this is um a different piece other than this master board piece, so. I'm just putting the different colors and different kinds on here. Um, you know. Oh, you guys can't see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys got to see. Move it so I can see. I can't see. That's about to look up. Um, yeah, it's just a Valentine's um little hanger. Yeah. So I got this from um Dollar Tree last year for a dollar twenty-five. And then I got another piece I'm going to paint underneath it. Here. I'm gonna paint it colors underneath it. And then um, decoupage so it shines through like the other ones did the other week that I really enjoyed. And then I'm going to glue them both together so it's kind of a layer effect. Yeah, yeah. So, because Valentine's is coming up and, you know. So that's what I'm doing this time. And I lost my little thing. I just had my hand. What am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this? Thank you. Yeah. So um, I just do a lot of decor upcycling. Um, and that's why I decided to do the blog about the upcycling, how I pick things and, you know, why I pick things and how you can pick things and how you can upcycle stuff and make it look. I mean, even though it's just $1.25, you can make it look 100 bucks, but not really because it's not be a hundred bucks because it's just what you you do to it to add the little personal stuff to it, you know? I like I like my stuff not being like everybody else's. I don't know about you guys. And then they go, where did you get that? And I can go, I made that. That's what I like. That's what I like doing. And sometimes we'll walk through the store and I have to get something because I have an idea for that, right?
I'm going to cut some uh, door hangers soon uh, for Easter. I think I'm going to cut some door hangers from my CNC. So, um, the like door hangers. And this one here is just a small little um, wall hanger, not really a door hanger. Yeah, I guess you could hang it on your door. You can hang it on your office door. It's little. If you want. It. I got wrinkles. Let me get this out there. Oh. I would love to see that, Phyllis. It's probably beautiful, I'm sure of it. Oh lordy, my first try, mm. hot mess train wreck, that's all I gotta say. And you probably can go back on YouTube and look, you probably can find them, because I, I record them. <laughs> and once this dry, I'll come back and sand off the edges, I'm just going to take off the edges a little here, and then I'll come back, because it's it's wet and it's really hard for me to sand when it's wet and not rip it. So I'm going to wait until it dries and I'll come back. Yeah, um, definitely tag me so I can feel. I would love to. Yeah. Hope you can see you guys' work. You gotta make sure you get enough of um, decoupage medium underneath it, right? Okay, so that's this part of it, right? So I'm gonna let this dry, and I'll come back and I'll sand off the edges once it dries a little. Um, I I tend to rip it a lot if it's still damp, so I am that that's ripping actually. So um. I'm gonna wait until it dries and then I will I will sand off the edges. It just makes life a little easier for me. Okay, let's try the little thing here now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take this heart and I'm gonna paint it. And I got this one from Michaels. For like a dollar. And I am just going to paint this. Um, just a little bit of color here, just like I would be if I would, um, oh, okay, cool. Um, you can use any kind of medium on it. You can use, uh, I think actually, if you're going to go to Dollar Tree, um, yeah, Dollar Tree, they have some stuff over there. I'm just not sure what it's called. Um, any kind of medium should work. And I'm thinning out this because I want to count with watercolors and it's fused. This is fusion and this color here is just um it's just a red. It's the um work York red. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just painting a little bit, so it just like watercolor, so I'm just painting a little bit on it and wetting it, so it'll thin it out a little, you know. So I don't want a heavy coat underneath. I just want something to show a little color, right?
So I'm going to put a little color underneath it and then I'll put the decoupage on top so it shines through a little bit. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just, I'm just doing it. Um, the title and stuff so I'm going to come back to it. And then we'll just open that. Let's just open these and now I can. Okay, so we won't use that color. Let's use this one. There we go. I know I just opened them. Make sure they were open before I started. I think this might be one of the colors that they got into and made a mess with uh, when they got into our shop that one time and made a mess. Uh, I got pain in it. Okay. Sure. Now that I'm AMS, let's uh, you guys can see that. Okay, you guys can see. And I'm just on splish splotch. No. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, wipe that back off. Okay, there we go. Um, no, I paint, this is my office in my house and I sell paint at a consignment shop and online. I don't really have a studio per se, but, <clears throat> but I am not opposed to doing in-home parties yet. I haven't did any yet. I have one scheduled um, for the 1st of March. 2nd of March, so first Saturday, whatever that is. So I do not have a studio per se though. But I just, this is my um, home office. But yeah, but I still work a full-time job too, so um, I can't always paint all the time like I want. I would love to be able to just paint. That's it, you know, but I can't. So let's put another piece. Cool, yeah. Yeah, and I can um just do it like this, but do it in a private group. And I can send you the supplies or supplies list. Yeah. However you guys want to work that out, we could do that. And I do have a private group, I just use it for stuff like, you know, um I, I don't have anybody in it. It just until we, you know, if I start having paint parties, I'll just post them inside of that. Or maybe I'll do it through Google or something. I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. <clears throat> oh, a Zoom. Yeah, I could do a Zoom. The Zoom is only for like 30 minutes though, but I think Google, I want to say Google is limit. I need to double check, but I think it's limitless. And then on like this here, I can do like I'm doing now, like we're chatting now, but I can do this in a private group. Like we're chatting right now. And you guys can type questions or, you know, however you guys want to do it. The Zoom is more, I can hear you, you can hear me. Yeah. Maybe a couple of test runs on it. I think we can get it, but yeah, we can do that. And then maybe schedule every now and then when I come in, schedule an in-person one. So 
be sweet. I'll just bring the supplies with me at that point. I know. It's not really an art class, though. It's just for fun. I mean, I just like doing crafts. And it, I don't even care what kind of crafts it is. I mean, I could do, uh, um, what else? I don't do capage. I can do raised stencils. I love doing raised stencils. I love doing uh, pottery. I like doing pottery. Um, I love doing door signs. Yeah, let's step it up. Look at my hands, they're a mess. <laughs> I opened that up and made a mess all over the place. Pink. Me and Philly did a um, demo inside of one of my shops where we sell the paint at on Saturday. It was fun. It was definitely fun. Bills, did you get a chance to see the? Did you get on my uh, thing so you can see my blog? I'm not sure if you got to see the blog. I'll have another one coming out later on this week. Um, the link is in, it's in my subscription, um, link in the, um, description on this. If you go to this, uh, site here where I'm hosting this at and go to this, uh, where I'm going alive, like inside the description on this live is the, um, link. So, yeah. And if you don't, if you can't find it, let me know and I can, I can get you in there. Thank you. <laughs> Frank took, I think that picture is one Frank took in Vegas when we went in October. Yeah. I think that's the one you're looking at. The one for this uh, the announcement for this live is um, we were doing a selfie. Um, it's like a white walk through and you do a bunch of selfies. It's kind of, it's fun. Thank you. 
Now this here, this color here is called Mist, and it's like a periwinkle, and it is the color of the week. Oh, yeah, uh, the link is to my email, which I'll, I'll get it to you. How about that? I'll get it to you. Um, so give me, after this, when I get all cleaned up with my paint all of my fingers, I will, I will send it to you. And anybody else that would like to uh, see the blog, let me know and I'll send it to you too. But this color here is called, um, no, it's not your fault. I just probably didn't set it up right. It's story of my life. It's okay. It's all a learning experience. Um, this color here is the fusion color of the week mist and I love it. It's like an off white blue. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can. There you go. See that? I love this color. I'll be posting color, you know, information about the color and some pictures with it in there on my uh, Facebook site for the business. Periwinkle is your favorite color. This is called Mist and it's by Fusion Mineral Paint. It's, it's like a bluish white. It's very, 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 very light. And if the light hits it right, you can hardly tell it's blue. Purpley blue. I love it. I love it. Let me try this color here again. There we go. How about that? Hmm. This color here, I got in my hand, is called um, buttermilk cream. So it's like a yellowy. My brush is not the best. This brush here is not very good. It's about, that one's about done. I'm not liking this brush. I'm sorry, guys. Getting the brush. That brush sucks. What happens when you get to wash them out? There we go, much better. How about that? Much better. Yes, that's a fact. And she can do it online too. Yep. We have a whole group of folks doing crafts online. Yep. And I can make it an hour long thing and call it a day. Absolutely. This color here is the last color and it's called Chaplain. And it's like an off white. So. This is my last color for today on this. And I just did some splish splash color because I just wanted to put some color in the the um the decoupage tissue because it's a light tissue and I wanted to um the colors to shine through. Kind of like I did the other day with the um other stuff I was working on. With the color in the, the trees, I did the trees in December. Okay, we'll give that a second. This lid back on this. I'm gonna we'll grab my tissue. I 
And I'll be honest, I don't remember the name of this one because it was scratched and I don't have the thing with it. I don't remember. Okay, so there's my, my thing. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, putting the paper on. You guys can see if I can get this done. It's not a limited amount of time because right, it's just me, but I like to keep it to an hour because my attention span, I don't know about you guys, but my attention span don't last very long. If I can get this done. Okay, guys. You guys are quiet. You guys see what I'm doing? Putting some colors I need so it shines through. Okay, so when I'm done with this, I'm going to sand off the ends of the other um, part that I had done. Then I can come back to this one and finish this one up and sand it. These, mm, um, I'll probably open it in a shop. I haven't thought that far ahead. I need to put it in the shop. Unless you guys have done it. I think I'll put it in the shop for like 10 bucks. See that right there? I don't know if you guys can see that, but I didn't get enough to sh uh, medium down, so it's like lifting. So I want to make sure I get that down right there. Lift it up for it, guys. Try it again. Thank you, Phyllis. The water actually helps um, stretch it a little bit and it takes the wrinkles out. But be careful because if you oversaturate it, it will rip when you're working it. And if you overwork it, it will rip. You gotta be careful when you sweat it.
The baby is due in April, in the May or end of um, March, early April. Yeah, Hunter is having a boy. My first baby. Frank's excited too. He's just a, a boy. He's having a little boy. Go name him Charlie. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Go name him Charles, but he will be Charlie to be. Yeah. Hunter and Emma. Yep. Super excited. Yeah, I'll put you on the Oh, to the register. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they've done that yet. I need to get on them because I have a ton of people asking. A ton of people asking. Um, the little group I'm doing on the um second of March, uh it's it's a women's group for a church. I'm all excited about that. My first group um class thing. I'm going to try to set up every month or so with them. I'm having a hard time finding folks that want to take classes for whatever reason. I got some little crosses. Oh, my name's gonna be Nana. Gonna be Nana. Keep everything. I think her mom is gonna be Grandma. I'm gonna be Nana. I have to keep everybody straight. It's all confusing if you name everybody the same thing. I don't know, Frankie's yet. I don't know. He's still thinking on it, I think. I'm sure it's going to be a different language. Huh. Super duper excited about this. And I'm just standing this off just at the edge. You know, it takes it off quite nice. Just get the edge and just, you know. <laughs> He's thinking on it. He has a he has a team up. He may have already came up with something, but he hasn't told me yet, so. They live about two hours from us, an hour and a half, two hours north of us. Yeah, that's not too far. I already told Hunter we got dibs from Friday to Sunday after church. I mean, my grandbabies come and get him and bring him. I, I need to turn Hunter's room into a nursery down here because uh, he's going to be here a lot. Because he's like the baby. <laughs> yep, I need to. Change Hunter's room from a, a guest room for them to a baby's room. That's what I'm working on in my spare time that I have. 
Yeah, I'm I'm super excited. It's hard to get into these little chats with them, you know? I know. I'm off there. Giving me grief. Okay, so I will. Once everything dry, dries. It's this is. I have to do this one here too. Okay, so let me just see on the edge of my suit. Then just fan out the edges and then feel it again, make sure everything's still good. And then have your little finger. Alrighty, there you go. And then I would take it and I would glue it on just like just like that right there. See how that is? When I glue it on, I'll, I'll clamp it so it stays flat. So, there you go. How's that? All right. I'm going to get a picture of that real quick. You guys have any questions? Are everything good? I am going to let you guys go for the evening. If you have questions, just put them in the comments here. Yeah, and then it has a little hanger on it or a bow. You could put a bow through it too, and it would be cute. Um, I'll show you guys pictures of it once I complete, complete it. Um, hang on one second. Let me get a picture real quick of that. I don't want a picture of it. Um, Okay, good. I got a picture of it then. So, uh, thank you guys. If you have any questions, just put a um, message in the comment. Phyllis, I'll get you um, a link to my blog. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Have a great day.